Hey gang! Okay, guess what? I'm gonna tell you my story now of how I got to have a prairie dog. And I have to do it on Snapchat because my hair looks like crap. And I don't feel like fixing it. So the ears are covering it up. So, anyways. Okay, so. I'm Angela W. I live in the panhandle of Florida in this little tiny tourist town. And about, and I'm 54. I've got three children, a 30-year-old, a 27-year-old, both girls, and my 16-year-old son. About seven years ago, six and a half years ago, my daughter at that time was like 19. And she uh, needed to come live with me for a while. Okay, so anyways, Sophie moves in, and when she moves in, she brings with her a prairie dog, Dexter. And my immediate reaction was, what the F are you doing bringing that stupid rat in my house? Get it the hell out. I do not want that rat in my house, okay? You have brought enough stray dogs home. I do not need a rat, okay? And she's like, but mom, but mama. That's what she said, but mommy. Mommy, she gives me that sweet little and then bats her eyes and but, 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 but. And so I was like, okay, fine. So she has Dexter living in her room, okay? And she uh, basically lets Dexter free roam in her room the whole time. And every now and then she'd bring him in and she'd let me pet him. So I kind of got started getting used to him. And I found out that he was a really, like, kind of cool creature, right? You know, I really started to like him. So, I take a nap every day because that's just what I do. And one day I'm laying down for my nap and um, Sophie comes in and she has Dexter and she goes, Here, Mom, take Dexter and let him nap with you. And she just plops him down on me and leaves. And Dexter immediately crawls over and snuggles right here in the crook of my neck. And I was hooked. That was it. I was hooked. That's all it took. Fell in love with that little boy right then and there on the spot. Loved him. And he is such a snug bunny. Has been ever since and still is. So, fast forward a year and Sophie's ready to move out. And I say, but, 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 what about Dexter? But, 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 what about Dexter? So, to make a long story short, I stole Dexter <laughs> from Sophie. She moved out and I kept Dexter. Sorry, Sophie, but I couldn't, I couldn't let him go. I just couldn't let him go. I fell in love with him. Oh my God, I just fell in love with him. Okay, now, fast forward two more years, okay? And I say, you know what? Dexter's lonely, by the way. I know nothing about furry dogs. I've not done one iota of research. I know nothing about them. I'm feeding them guinea pig food, just like they said at the pet store to do, okay? And anyways, so Dexter's now like two years old. I don't even know that that's like sexual maturity. I did not know that. But I decide that I need to get Dexter a girlfriend so they can have puppies. So I can breed prairie dogs because I have bred dogs all my life off and on. So how hard could it be? Well, turns out that it's a little you have a more text challenging message. to captive breed, okay? And <laughs> the way that I discover this is after they've been together for about two years and now Dee Dee is at her sexual maturity, I see them two humping. And so next thing I know, I look and Dee Dee's acting all kind of weird, like nesting and digging and doing all this weird stuff. And so motherly stuff not weird stuff just motherly stuff like pregnant kind of stuff so i'm like whoa, whoa, we're gonna have some puppies i was so excited and i was on that black tail prairie dog group and so that was my first comment was how do you know if your prairie dog is pregnant and you heard the story previously which was my comment was immediately deleted because it was inappropriate for that group 
turns out that Dee Dee was not pregnant, and also I learned at that time that it is extremely <laughs> complicated to captive breed prairie dogs. Basically, you don't touch the mother prairie dog for the entire pregnancy, and you don't touch them after the prairie dog puppies are born either, or they will uh, commit inf infanticide, is that how you say it? Where the mothers eat their babies because they're a prey species they think everything's out to kill them so they would rather do the killing themselves than have a coyote or a hawk kill their puppies so needless to say i was grateful to find out that she was not pregnant okay what i also learned is that an interesting little tidbit of information is that prairie dogs can have false pregnancies just like human beings Okay, so, Diddy wasn't pregnant, now fast forward another two years, okay? And I'm like, oh my god, I gotta have another prairie dog, I need one more, I need one more. Because Diddy's kind of crazy, as y'all have heard, okay? And she's not getting any better, she's crazy, okay? She's still crazy. But anyways, so, I go, I'm living in Florida now, and I drive back to Houston to s, &S Exotics. By the way, has gotten a lot worse since I got Diddy. Anyways... I was just going to get one little prairie dog, and they had two left, that's it, and they brought them both out for me to choose one of them, and I looked, and they were both in horrible shape, oh my god, they were malnourished, they had massive cage nose, oh my god, they're excessive grooming, they had big clumps of hair, fur missing, oh my god, they were just a huge, huge mess. Needless to say, I could not leave both of them there. I, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't pick one and leave the other, so I brought them both home. That's right! Came home with two instead of one, so now I have a colony of four. And in case you haven't noticed, they're all named after cartoon characters. Dexter and Dee Dee from Dexter's Laboratory a cartoon that my daughter used to watch all the time, and Betty and Veronica, for you older folks that uh, know about the Archie comics. That's where those names come from. Anywho's, I love my colony. Oh my god, I can't tell you how much pleasure these kids bring me. Seriously, they make me so happy. And, like Angela and Lindsay, I cannot be outdone, so come springtime... I may just have to go get another one, so I'll have the most. Okay, so that's my story. You know my story now. I am Angela W., the creator of Prairie Dogs and Their Kin, and my super-duper awesome administrators, Lindsay and Angela S., we are all there for you. We got your back. Have some fun. Play. Post any videos. Post videos about anything i don't care post it have fun laugh these kids are all about bringing us fun and joy that is what they do in my life i hope they do the same in yours and yes they're a challenge and yes we have to work constantly to keep up with them but in the end it's all worth it it's so worth it the love that they give is just immeasurable so anywho's Hope you enjoyed my video and nice to meet y'all.